a mysterious object that emits radio signals every six hours and cannot be explained by known physics. This sounds almost like the plot of a science fiction movie. But astronomers have discovered exactly such a mysterious phenomenon. Be sure to stay tuned, because in this video we dive into one of the most fascinating mysteries of the universe. Welcome everyone! In the constellation Sagittarius, about 13,000 light years from Earth, astronomers have discovered a very strange object that is giving them a headache. Using the ASCAP radio telescope in Australia, they initially observed an unusually strong radio signal, but what they then discovered amazed even experienced researchers. The signal repeated itself every six and a half hours with astonishing regularity. Oh God! Now quickly to Aldi to hoard toilet paper and barricade yourself in the basement. Because with mysterious threats, toilet paper is known to be the most important survival gear. Joking aside, let's first clarify what that could mean. We have never seen this kind of periodic signal before. Says lead researcher Manisha Caleb from the University of Sydney, it is so unusual that it cannot be explained by our previous ideas about celestial bodies. The astronomers named the enigmatic object ASCAP J1839-0756. They sure can come up with great names. Why not just go with something like Maddox Chantal or Khaleesi Kevin or something? But what exactly is ASCAP J1839-0756 anyway? And here begins the big mystery, Setsi. Normally, radio signals in space are either emitted by very fast pulsating neutron stars, known as pulsars, or by distant exploding stars. But ASCAP, I'll skip the number combination you know what I'm talking about, doesn't fit into any of these categories. Its radio signals are far too slow for a pulsar, which typically pulses several times per second. At the same time, the object is far too close to be a distant cosmic explosion. We are looking at something completely new here, explains co-author Joshua Lee. It behaves like no other astronomical object known to date. Particularly fascinating, the researchers were even able to observe a so-called interpulse signal. This means that ASCAP not only emits a main signal every six and a half hours, but also a weaker secondary signal in between. A bit like a cosmic teenager who needs three more snooze alarms after the main alarm to finally get going. But as if that weren't strange enough, the strength of the signals seems to decrease over time. Over the course of six months, the signal grew weaker and weaker until it finally disappeared altogether. By the way, before we get to the bottom of the mystery, please leave a subscription for the channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, you'll never miss a galactic video again and you'll be helping me a lot. Thanks guys! Now you're probably wondering, what on earth is going on with dark matter? Well, astronomers are still puzzling over that too. And on the internet, one explanation is particularly popular. Aliens. <laughs> However, scientists have also come up with a few other exciting theories. One possibility is that it is a particularly slowly rotating neutron star. These are the ultra-dense remnants of a supernova explosion. However, ASCAP would then be by far the slowest rotating neutron star we know, so to speak, the bureaucrat among neutron stars. Another idea is that we might be dealing with a so-called magnetar. These are neutron stars with extremely strong magnetic fields. Some magnetars do indeed emit irregular radio signals, but none of them rotate nearly as slowly as our mysterious object. Researchers are also speculating whether it might be a binary star. So two stars orbiting each other, one of them could then be responsible for the radio signals, but even that wouldn't explain all the observations. It's like we have a puzzle in front of us where the pieces just don't want to fit together. Every time we think we've found an explanation, a new observation comes along that doesn't fit into the picture, says Joshua Lee. And it gets even more curious, because another exciting feature of ASCAP is its extremely strong polarization. The emitted radio waves oscillate very orderly in a specific direction. This indicates extremely strong magnetic fields. In addition, the astronomers observed that the wavelength of the signal changed over time. The signal was broader at lower frequencies than at higher ones. This is an effect that is also known from pulsars. All these properties together make for a highly unusual object. It combines features of various known phenomena, but does not fit into any of the established categories, summarizes Manisha Caleb. I can already hear some of you speculating. Could it be aliens? The alien mothership on its way to destroy Earth, already terrifying us with a few signals beforehand? Well, who knows? Maybe the signal is from an alien DJ maintaining the universe's slowest techno set with his cozy six and a half hours of beats. 
Researchers consider this possibility very unlikely. Not the part about the DJ, but that it could be an alien signal in general. The characteristics of the signal simply fit too well with natural astrophysical processes. Even if we don't yet understand exactly what is going on, the astronomers have pulled out all the stops to uncover the secret. They are observing the object with various telescopes in the radio, infrared and x-ray ranges. Have they found anything other than the mysterious radio signals? Number nothing could be seen in any other wavelength range. This doesn't make things any easier, of course. If we could see x-rays, for example, that would be a clear indication of a neutron star or optical light could indicate a companion star, but nothing of the sort. S-cap remains silent, as if it wants to tease us. It's like we're looking at a ghost, jokes Joshua Lee. We hear it, but we can't see it, and every time we think we have it, it disappears again. Indeed, the signal eventually disappeared completely. For several months, nothing more was heard. The researchers were already worried that they had missed their chance to solve the mystery, but then out of nowhere it reappears, weaker but still with the same enigmatic period of 6.5 hours. This turning on and off reminds astronomers of a class of objects that were only discovered a few years ago known as long period radio transients. These are celestial bodies that emit radio signals at irregular intervals for some time and then fall silent again. However, none of these known transients have such a precise period as ASCAP. Manisha Caleb says, It's as if we've discovered a whole new class of astronomical objects, one that combines properties of several known phenomena, but also has its own previously unknown characteristics. The discovery by ASCAP not only raises questions about this one object, it could fundamentally change our understanding of stars and their development. Perhaps there is a whole population of such mysterious objects out there that we have simply overlooked until now. We estimate that there could be hundreds of such objects in our galaxy, explains Caleb. They just haven't been detected because our traditional search methods weren't designed to find signals that pulsate so slowly. The ASCAP telescope used for the discovery is part of a new generation of radio telescopes. It can scan the sky much faster and much more thoroughly than previous instruments. Even more powerful telescopes, such as the Square Kilometer Array, will be coming online in the coming years. And who knows what other surprises we will catch in the act. One thing is for sure, the discovery of ASCAP shows once again how little we know about the universe. Every time we think we have understood everything, the cosmos has a new surprise in store for us. And that's exactly what makes astronomy so exciting. Who knows? Maybe we'll solve the mystery of ASCAP very soon. Or we might discover even stranger objects that once again turn our worldview upside down. Let me know in the comments what you think. What is this mysterious signal? What is your explanation? I'm really looking forward to the discussion in the comments. In any case, I will keep you updated here on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe now and activate the bell. And now let's stick with cosmic waves that hit the Earth. It seems that the Earth was hit by massive supernova radiation in the past, which influenced evolution. There is even the idea that our mind only developed due to mutations caused by supernova radiation. No joke? Everything about this crazy new discovery is in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to check it out if you want to know whether you owe your existence to an exploding star. And if that's not enough for you, you'll find another exciting topic in the bottom right-hand corner, as always. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks.